Hey, what's up, guys? David here back with another video, and today we're gonna to be talking about the Google Pixel 3. Yeah, so is this still worth buying in 2021? Late 2021. Alright, so guys, if you know the channel, please hit the subscribe button. If you end up liking and watching the video, give me a thumbs up, I'll be grateful for that. Alright, so I'm gonna be making a very short video just about the features and <clears throat> yeah, talking about this. This phone and should you consider buying it in 2021? <clears throat> Right. So starting off with the display. So the display on this is uh, still very good, you know, Super AMOLED. Only lacking in now uh, high refresh rates. Other than that, this is very, very solid display, I will say. And a very tiny display, by the way, <laughs> under six inches, almost, I guess. Very tiny, by 2021 standards, you know. <laughs> yeah, even at the time when it was released, it was kind of small, you know compact but you know that's the whole point of this phone it was a uh, to be a compact phone eh? compact flagships phones that are extinct in the modern day yeah so on this you had a uh, snapdragon 845 yeah which is a very solid processor even by today's standards beats out most of the mid-range phones so if you're a person who's looking for a small phone that has a yeah very good whatever very good uh, performance this is one for you yeah and to be honest, the UI is really, really, really smooth right now. You know, using Android 12, it's just, I don't know how to describe it. You know, it would have been way better, obviously, with the high refresh rates, but even now with the 60 hertz, it's still very solid. I'll tell you that Android 12 on the Pixel is just but I'm telling you guys. You should get a phone and experience it for yourself. I think that's one of the biggest uh, positives of this phone right now, you know. It's almost three years old, and I'll say this biggest advantage is uh, yeah, the Android 12 update right now, yeah. So that's uh, the performance and display. I talked about those two, All right? So, the, moving on to the cameras, so the cameras on this are still very solid. The front facing cameras, you have the ultra wide and uh, the normal, they're still very, very good cameras, and actually, I think they have gotten better over time with the software updates and all that, well as uh. The rear facing camera you have a single shooter at the back and it's still very solid but yeah there's one issue <laughs> one very major issue a very big issue with this phone that i'm going to be talking about in a bit right so when it comes to the cameras the images are still very good the video is still very good yeah you're not going to have any issues and actually i think this phone will beat out any phone it will beat out any major phone when it comes to the cameras especially stills the images the processing is incredible in here, yeah, with all the updates this has gotten. But the one issue that I'm having actually with this phone, the scrape I have with it is uh, the audio recording in video. And actually, generally, any audio recording on this phone, you're going to run into an issue where it just uh, kind of buzzes, you know, at even when you record the video in pure silence, you're going to have this buzzing noise. So this phone came with that issue at the start, at the start when it was released. Yeah, people complain about the audio and unfortunately that issue still exists even today that it has been updated to Android so I, I thought that maybe with these updates that issue would have been gone okay it's kind of when it starts off it starts off uh, very loud in the first three seconds of the video that you're recording or whatever if you're recording maybe a whatsapp or you're not you're still going to get a like the first three seconds of the video you're going to have that buzzing noise and then it will become less more, less noticeable after those three seconds, but it still stays like a hissing noise Without this issue From the time it was released and unfortunately, I think it's a hardware issue it can't be fixed because I would say that maybe <laughs> It will be fixed in the upcoming whatever um, Software update that they promised in Q1 of 2022 But if I fail to fix it for all these few years, I don't know if they'll fix it, they'll ever fix it surely so Yeah, I think that's my biggest gripe with this phone The other gripe that I have with it is the battery life is not really all that good 2009 mh you want to be experienced with battery yeah but other than that i'll say that this is a solid phone you know have wireless charging you have <clears throat> very good cameras for stills but for video if you're personal <laughs> okay takes care of your audio and actually for anything to do with audio even when you're just recording a, a voice note you're going to have issues just recording an audio note you would have issues for the first few seconds it's going to have that hissing noise it's really loud and noticeable yeah so the quality is not going to be that good but i think that's the yeah achilles sale of this phone 
really good phone compact i mean it looks beautiful with this android 12 you know with this software you know it really looks good with the colored icons and all that you know it has all the features i think this is the and the price of it is actually also a, a, a positive because for what you get in this phone at the price i think i got it for around uh, 90 97 dollars around there very cheap under 100 dollars so that's very good uh, value for money to be frankly honest yeah you're not going to find many phones <laughs> with this kind of processing power very good cameras and uh yeah android 12 all that in one package for that price i think there isn't a phone that can offer that yeah but yeah if you're not a person who's going to mind the audio too much you know it's usable to be frankly honest if you're a person who wants to record video with it a lot or okay you do a lot of audio notes or something like that so yeah you're going to be struggling with the mic <laughs> has some issue yeah really noticeable so that's the only issue that i am noticed with this phone otherwise i was just really very good and if you can overlook that issue i think uh you got a very solid phone on your hands right here so yeah that's basically it for this video guys that's all I have to say about this phone. The speakers are still good, I would say. The speakers are still okay. But they're not balanced, yeah? Okay, they're not as good as people <laughs> used to make them out. Like, okay, I expect it to be better. It's kind of teeny. It's not that loud, yeah? That's another issue that I've forgotten. <laughs> yeah. Alright, guys, I think that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching and uh, see you in the next video. Peace out.